Well, this is just a horrifying video, a plane crash caught on tape. Tonight, we know investigators have pinpointed the cause of the crash in Afghanistan last month. All seven crew members, including the first officer from West Michigan, lost their lives. And 24-hour news aide Ken Coker is here with the story. And we want to warn you that some of the video could be disturbing. Ken? Hey, Marlene Sue, six of those seven crew members killed in the crash were from Michigan, all but one of those from the east side of the state. The last three minutes of the deadly flight were captured by a dash cam in a nearby vehicle. As you can see, the video shows the Boeing 747 cargo plane taking off from Bagram Air Force Base and stalling before rolling. It crashed in a ball of fire. Not long after the April crash, the Taliban claimed responsibility, but NATO quickly ruled that out. Now, according to published reports, the country's Ministry of Transport and Civil Aviation today released its findings that heavy military vehicles being carried by the aircraft broke free in mid-air. Investigators say it appears the armored vehicles weighing up to 18 tons slid to the back of the plane, causing the National Ergo plane to crash. What's not clear is what caused the load to shift. However, investigators reportedly found broken buckles that were supposed to have held the vehicles in place. Among the dead was Three Rivers native Jamie Brokaw, whose parents still live there. Brokaw served in the Air Force before going to work for National Air Cargo. According to his obituary, Brokaw grew up around aircraft. His grandfather was a World War II gunner, his dad a commercial pilot. Now, officials say there was nothing that the pilot could have done to save the plane. As for Brokaw, he was the flight's first officer. He was married and had a nine-year-old stepdaughter. We tried to reach his family today, but were unsuccessful.